Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today we're making the Ward 8. This is a pre-prohibition classic that comes from Boston, and it's the only pre-prohibition classic that I can think of that comes from Boston. I could be mistaken, so please leave a comment down below if you can think of another, but this is certainly the most popular. This one holds a special place in my heart because I spent the better part of the last decade bartending at a place called Ward 8, and so I've made plenty of these. It's a very simple recipe, essentially a riff on a whiskey sour. And there are a number of different recipes, but this is the best one, in my opinion, because it's simple and delicious. I'll show you how I do it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go make the Ward 8 to the bar. We don't really know the origin of this cocktail. The most common story is that this drink dates back to 1898, when Tom Hushin created this drink at the Lock Ogre Cafe in Boston, in the 8th Ward, which is why it has the name Ward 8. Anyway, this drink was created in honor of Martin Lomasny, who was running for political office. It was created to celebrate his victory, even though the drink came out before the votes were actually tallied. Now it's said that he was linked to voter fraud and he was probably a corrupt politician, like many were in Boston back then. It also said that he was a ward boss, which I thought was pretty cool. And that's an unofficial title. I don't know what he did or how you become a ward boss. Other stories say that it was a different bartender who made this drink, and some will say it was a different bar that had this drink. In that haze, we also don't know the true recipe. Some bartenders put bitters in this drink, others will top this off with soda water. I've seen it with mint, but they all come back to whiskey, citrus, and grenadine. Those are the three main components. So that's what I'm keeping it to. Oh, play notification. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. Bouillon strainer has arrived. Nice. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> okay, so we're shaking this drink. I've got my Boston shaker. That's very appropriate. A Jigger Hawthorne strainer. I've got a knife because I'm gonna cut a little piece of orange for garnish. And then I have cocktail cherry. Now the booze. We're gonna need rye whiskey, fresh lemon juice, fresh orange juice, and grenadine. The whiskey I'm using is Rittenhouse 100 Proof Rye. As far as the whiskey, I'm going with rye whiskey. It most likely was made with rye whiskey at the time, but I've seen this made with bourbon. You could use Canadian whiskey, Irish whiskey, scotch. I'm going rye. And the grenadine, this is my homemade grenadine. If you need an easy recipe, check out my video on that. Let's build. Let's start with the whiskey. I'm gonna do two ounces of rye whiskey. Half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Another half ounce of fresh orange juice. And half an ounce of grenadine. We're gonna serve this up, so get your glassware chilling, if you haven't already. Add ice and shake. About 10 seconds or so. Nice and cold on the hands. And now we can grab our chilled glassware and double strain into the cocktail glass. For a garnish, I'm just gonna cut a little triangle, a little piece of orange, and then a cherry. And place it right at the edge. Like that. The Ward 8. Cheers. Mmm, if you like a whiskey sour, give this one a shot. It's not quite as sour because the orange juice and grenadine really toned down the lemon. And I definitely get the rye whiskey. I'm using 100 proof, so it stands up. That's easy to drink. Oz, would you like to try? Yes, please. Mmm, yum. That's very refreshing. It is. Now, my grenadine tends to be really tart, but if you are not doing a homemade pomegranate grenadine, then the store-boughts are gonna be quite a bit sweeter and less sour. So you might wanna cut back the grenadine to say a quarter of an ounce, depending on how sweet it is, maybe even just a bar spoon. But for this recipe of the grenadine, I like a full half ounce because I can actually taste a little bit of pomegranate in there. Down the hatch. 
Thank you all for watching. To my War Date regulars, leave a comment down below. I hope you're well, I miss you. And to my YouTube regulars, thank you for your support. I will see you next time. Cheers. Mm. A bartender, bartender, I need another one. Bartender, 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 over here.